Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. I'm going to start with part one of my 2024 visions. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to set up a little festive. Uh, my family's coming here on Christmas Day, so I got to break down and decorate. <laughs> Had my blood taken today because uh, I'm having the ultrasound uh, the 6th. And... Uh, they found that I was in a flaming full bladder infection. I know you guys want the deets. Anyway, so I'm, I get chronic infections, but I did not feel it at all, except I've been exceptionally tired. So it's probably from that. And uh, they just want to make sure I don't have gallstones. And I got my flu shot in this arm. That's for the flu shot. Uh, no, no achiness or nothing. But I keep up with my Motrin and stuff. So I'm wearing that I'm not dead yet t-shirt, rest to go. First of all, I have to tell you that I had a dream the other night and I think I forgot to mention it to people. And it was a dream that I heard Trump saying, you know, look at this state and look at my numbers. And I just had that infuriated, overwhelmingly angry energy. And I went out there like, you know, cray cray. And there was people, he was like behind a podium and there was people. And I said, you know, you got a lot of nerve, jump ass. You got a lot of nerve. I said, you're gonna lose so bad, it's not even funny. And I told him, um, keep talking though, cause you're just setting yourself. Talk, tell us about how you're gonna stop Obamacare. Tell us about how Roe versus Wade was all your thing. It, you're nothing. You'll be a nothing burger. And I woke up and my heart was pounding in the dream. So, I mean, I was waiting for a secret service or somebody to pounce on me, but he wasn't looking at me scowling. He was looking at me kind of hurt, which was weird. So anyway, I just want to tell you guys about that dream. Okay. So my friend, Dan, who does um, my YouTube, said to me, are you going to do 2024? And I'll be honest with you, with everything's on my plate, I'm almost done. Jesus, the book is like, I'm going to be sending it next week to Tana. Um, And I'm just working. And then you got Christmas and you got this and you got that. I got my gifts wrapped and everything, pre-ordered everything. Uh, I thought 2024, I mean, when am I going to have time? And I'm even thinking I might do it in January. He no sooner said that, I hang up the phone and what do I see? I see a newspaper being held up like this and people are just ecstatic like that, that vision I had of Biden winning and dancing in the streets. And it says Biden wins. So that was a very good hit. And I said, oh, okay. So I wrote it down. And when I wrote it down, I started getting more hits. So I guess the guides do want me to give you uh, 2024. I could dwell into other things, but I'll just go with what I have now. And then we'll see if something else comes up. Um, Because I think I should go more into, I picked up Canada. I did pick up Canada for uh, some severe uh, storms. Uh, snowstorms and some flooding where those fires were. Uh, I see the news looking at Canada. I'm not seeing lives lost as much as like property being compromised. Okay, so I saw the newspaper with Biden. Then they showed me Trump melting like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm melting, I'm melting. So he's going to get poured with something like water. Some, some stuff is going to pour on him that's actually going to have him dissipate. Now, another hit I got on someone dissipating was Ron DeSatan. I saw him, you know, I did, I could barely get through that Sean Hannity to watch Governor Newsom because he was definitely for whatever they think is true. He literally said, so everybody knows that Biden is, you know, feeble. And it's like, what? I, I was like, what? Everybody, who's everybody? And <laughs> Kevin Newsom said, I'll take 10 of him to one of you. He's not feeble. 
So anyway, um, but I saw to Satan and that weird look, you know, he gives that weird smile and it, and he looks so weird. And I saw him, what I saw was, you know, he's standing at the podium and I saw him get smaller and smaller, like a little kid trying to talk into the microphone. By that psychic flash, I'm assuming that his words will have nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing there that that uh, he's definitely going to lose. He's going to lose big. And uh, yeah, he's two-faced. He's a flip-flop. He doesn't stand for anything. Santos, now, I told you guys he was going to get kicked out. And he got kicked out, but good. Apparently, he grabbed his mink shawl and hustled out and didn't say anything to the uh, to the to the press, but he didn't have that smirk on his face. You know, yesterday, how he had that smirk and yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, they went for it. And he's in huge trouble in September. But check this out, you guys. The hit I got for him for 24, besides being in huge trouble, somebody's going to write a book and do or do a TV special on him. I see somebody doing his story. Like, here's one of the lousiest people that ever hit the Congress, and he was a thief. And they're actually going to do the story. And he's willing to sell it because he needs the money. It's, I just got that flash, okay? So I just want to tell you that. This is good. This is good. I've been getting some good hits. The other hit I got, which is out of the blue, um, there's going to be a new, for 2024, maybe right into 2025, a new Broadway hit, a real spectacular Broadway hit coming out that'll be big like Hamilton. So I just want you to know there's something, not that I ever get to go to Broadway, but some new hit is coming out. That's FYI. So whoever is doing this Broadway hit probably knows it's them I'm talking about. I also want you to know Netanyahu is in 2024, he's gone. And I saw somebody grab him and push him out. So he's going. Unfortunately, I see a lot more um, fighting. And uh, Israel just wants to stop. They want it to stop. So does the Palestines. They want it to stop. And I see Netanyahu going. I think when Netanyahu gets exited, maybe Palestine will have more of a chance. But there will be two separate states. It might just start beginning in 2024, but peace will come. Somebody just showed their heart, like our hearts are with you. Please know that they will be able to live, maybe still that attitude, but at least they'll be able to live. Something about Netanyahu getting kicked out, which is going to help. Okay. Big time UFO sightings, but they're not going to land the plane <laughs> or the spaceship. Big time. And I saw Brazil. So that right now they're talking about these UFO sightings, you know. Um, somebody said they had a discussion with somebody from another planet. And if you guys recall years ago, I had a discussion with someone who identified himself as a ET. And at that time he told me they, they don't have permission to interfere with free will except for nukes. And at that time, I felt like there had been a couple of hits that we nearly got, but they stopped. And so she wrote me and said that this person identified two hits that we're supposed to, we were supposed to get, which stopped, which tells me that somebody like Kim Jong-un and or Biden will know that these ETs are going to interfere. That's what I hear. So, uh, What about Putin? This is weird. So I see Putin laid out. Laid out with some grand funeral. I don't know who would show up. I see Putin laid out. 2024. We've been threatening that. We even think he might not be quite with us now. But I see him being laid out. Ukraine... 
will really have peace probably spring to the end of 2024. They're finally going to be able to put down the sword. That's what I just heard. Okay. So I wrote this down, 2024, 2025, beginning of, of a serious two-state Palestine slash Israel uh, amendments. So this will be happening for sure. Netanyahu is getting, I don't see him, you know, being taken out. I see him being roughed up, maybe even having to serve prison time. I don't know. I just boom, boom. It's not going to be easy. A lot of lies. And they're going to find, we're all going to find out more. As it is, we found out they knew a year ago this was going to happen. But we're going to find out some more um, inconsistencies, more with his personal finances. Um, the other hit I got, which is weird because I've gotten the UFOs, Virgin Mary sightings, big ones like Bernadette, big ones like the ones that where she was up on that church, you remember, and she was a bright light. I'm seeing uh, Virgin Mary. Uh, the, the thing is, is that the earth wants peace and they're coming not to warn us of doomsday. They're coming to thank us for the love and the peace that we're putting out. Listen, when Trump goes out and we don't have to listen to that constant anger anymore, that's really going to help our soul energy. And vibrationally, it brings us up, you guys. It's a win-win situation. So, you know, like even me watching uh, Hannity so I could see Gavin Newsom, it was so ugly. I had to turn it off, but Gavin Newsom really held to the, to, you know, he held on tight. He's, he's definitely a politician, but he just brought up Biden. He said, I'll take 10 of them compared to one of you. Cause they're like, they, honest God, Sean Hannity said, everybody knows he's, too old for this. Just like, what? And then what uh, the Satan wants to do is say that um, Gavin Newsom is ghost ghosting Biden because he wants to be the next president. I can tell you beyond a reasonable doubt, he's not ghosting Biden. He really believes in Biden. He has no, he's not going to run for president. Sure, he'd like to be president, but right now, no. And what I'm telling you, like I told you before, what will happen is Biden will work several years pretty well. And then I see a little like he might have to hand it over to Kamala. And then um, she will do a fantastic job. She might even get voted after. But. Uh, oh, yeah, he'll be given a place in the in Washington. Oh, my God, I didn't see that before. So yeah, he's he's breading his butter. He's buttering his bread, sorry. He he will get a spot then 2024. He will get a spot. Yeah, they it was a, a, a pretty upsetting thing because they were totally anti California and stuff. So and they were saying, and everybody's leaving California. And I thought, wait a second. They just had a big thing on the newspaper about Texans are coming in droves to California. Yeah, a lot of people were leaving out of California, but now they're coming back. Apparently, Texans are coming back. Floridians are coming back. But it doesn't matter. We don't care. We just want peace. Okay, now, so another hit I got was a big disappointment about someone very beloved. I don't know if it's political. What I was feeling more like a sports, somebody in the limelight and some sort of news that everybody's going, oh, kind of like what we found out about the Golden Bachelor, <coughs> that apparently he'd had girlfriends the whole time. That was hard to hear, but uh, you know what I can't get over? I did watch that because they're, they're my age. In fact, the winner was 70 years old, my age. The, what, I didn't, what I don't like about that, it's not very much time and people are crying and hysterical over someone. You know, I, I did understand the younger crowd because, you know, young girls, they get crushes. They think they could win and, you know, they're hysterical, but these older women's like, what? And they're just as snappy and backstabbing as your young ones. <laughs> oh, here's another hit I got. 
Mark Meadows, he's got no place to hide. That's what I heard. I actually felt him behind a bush. There is so much coming out that Mark Meadows told the DOJ. So much damage is going to happen. Remember? Remember I told you when he was seen coming out of the DOJ in January? What did I say? I said he, he spilt the beans. He squealed. Uh, but he's going to be so hated and not liked by Dems or Republicans. It's like he has to hide. He's got to isolate himself. He's going down. Okay. Oh, thank you. So I wrote these down. I forgot what I wrote. I see a peace dove and a branch. A branch, you know, with the peace, the, the branch with the little leaves heading towards Russia. So I saw him in state, but what's really weird when I wrote this down, it's like there's a fire around him. And that could be anger that's coming around him. You know, like there was a little article and I totally believe it, which is one of the reasons uh, uh, Russia went down with Afghanistan is people's children were there and they weren't telling them a thing. And women are tired. You know, you don't mess with the women, especially when it comes to their babies. Oh, <laughs> so funny. I got fire again. Trump is in a panic, you guys. I can feel it, taste it, smell it. And he's losing in the courts and the Supreme Court will do nada, nothing for him. Mark my words. And it's like his hair is on fire. So apparently his, his attorneys were saying, you know, if you have this thing in August, uh, he's going to be in the middle of a campaign and he can't appear. And he said, oh, I didn't realize he was planning on appearing. Was he planning on appearing in court? Of course he wasn't. Okay, huge wins for Democrats November 4th. I hear drums being banged like they do for my tribe. Boom, boom, boom. And singing like my native, you know, boom, boom. People with the, the, the voice hidden towards the gods. Let me tell you, it's going to be a beautiful thing. By the way, George Santa's person that's going to replace him is them. I'm telling you. That's why it gets me that people freak out. It's like, hello, what has been going on so far? You, you're getting good people that look at both sides of the aisle instead of these one-sided, we're going to take away women's rights type of energy. This whole thing with women is what's really going to happen. Uh, by the way, God bless Sandra Day O'Connor. Somebody wrote me and said, I said two significant women would pass. <clears throat> So Sandra Day O'Connor, Diane Feinstein, and Ro uh, Rosalind Carter. So that's actually three women. Um, so the weather with Canada, I could definitely see snowstorms, big snowstorms. <clears throat> I could definitely see, the, you know, like muddy water with a bunch of uh, leaves and, and stuff stuck in it, heading down heading down a river, breaking into bridges. So I do see um, snowstorms in on the East Coast. Um, I think my coast, the West Coast, is going to get hit pretty hard. We got some stuff coming like March, I, I'm feeling. I got another little piece of sad news, you guys, just FYI. I see somebody in the news organization crossing, not being killed, just crossing. I don't know who it is, but it's sudden. Could be MSNBC, somebody in the cable news, or maybe even the big news. I see someone crossing. Um, I see everybody kind of like, whoa. I see big names in the entertainment. Somebody really significant. Uh, male energy. A movie star. Uh, but older. I see uh, somebody's telling me to tell you two younger ones. Two younger uh, theater energy.